What's up YouTube? How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be installing this AIS block off plate on our Yamaha Raptor 700. Now this would be a plate you would buy if you were installing an aftermarket exhaust. Some guys call this a pop stopper. This plate is designed to eliminate the air induction system or the AIS system that comes factory on newer Yamaha and other motorcycles. And so typically what you would hear after you install an aftermarket exhaust is a loud popping sound when you're riding downhill or on long decelerations after you've been cruising at top speed and you let off the throttle, you'll hear that popping sound. So this block off plate is designed to eliminate that. This particular block off plate that I have in my hand is by Cuervo Racing. These are available through the Cuervo Racing eBay store. So we're gonna keep it really short and simple today, guys. This is a very quick video. Just getting this AIS plate installed should be a snap. So AIS stands for Air Induction System. It's something that Yamaha includes on the Raptor 700 and other ATVs in an attempt to help reduce smog emissions. We're gonna go ahead and eliminate the AIS with this block off plate on the engine cylinder head side and also with this little vacuum cap that Cuervo Racing includes for the airbox side of the system. So it's a simple two-part install, two bolts for the little plate, then a little vacuum cap, and you basically eliminate the whole AIS and hopefully reduce, if not completely eliminate, that popping sound that you experience after you install your aftermarket exhaust. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the plate. The plate gets installed on the exhaust side of the vehicle. So the only tools we're really gonna need for this is a five millimeter Allen head and a set of needle nose pliers. So to access the AIS on a cylinder head, you're just gonna get on the exhaust side of the vehicle, reach up underneath the fender with your five millimeter Allen and release the two bolts that are holding the AIS plate on. So all right, so peeking inside the exhaust side fender here, you can see the factory AIS plate. Here's one of the screws. And this is the other screw here that we need to get out. So we're just gonna take our ratchet. I've already warmed up the engine to make these bolts just a little bit easier to remove. You just want to make sure that the machined out area matches up with that little nipple right there. So you're going to cover that just like that and then put it right back up in there. So now that we have the block off plate installed, we're going to go ahead and remove the hose that feeds over to the air box. Uh, this is the old block off plate. We're going to remove that along with this hose and this electronic solenoid that sits up here. Uh, this solenoid gets unplugged with that electronic blue plug right there. And we're just going to tape that plug off. And then this hose, which feeds back to the air box, will be removed along with the solenoid and this plate right here with the hose attached to it. Okay, so here's a look at the solenoid. We're just gonna be pushing the solenoid forward towards the front of the quad and off of this metal post here. There's actually two metal posts, uh, one on each side. We're just gonna push that solenoid forward and off of those posts. Okay, so there's our plate, solenoid, and next thing we need to do is just remove this hose that runs up to the air box under the seat. 
So I'll go ahead and pop the seat now. And this is the other end of that air hose that we're after. So we just need a pair of needle nose pliers to get that clamp off. We got the smog all deleted. Just gave it a quick little test there in the shop. It definitely sounds a lot better. Um, it's idling a lot smoother, which I wasn't expecting. Throttle response seems to be a lot better, which I wasn't expecting either. It really does seem to run a lot better with the smog pump deleted. I'm really glad to get rid of this whole AIS junk, get rid of that. I can't wait to take this thing out on the trail now and just feel the difference. You guys are gonna have to wait for the next video to hear it out on the trail. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to Trail Blogger. We'll definitely be taking this out for a real world test with the AIS block off plate installed. So this is a really quick video. For a more detailed video, I highly recommend that you guys check out the Mr. Cuervo Racing YouTube channel. Again, that's Mr. Cuervo Racing on YouTube. He has a lot of really helpful, great, how-to videos and I personally learned a lot from watching his videos. The guy is an absolute Raptor 700 guru. If you're looking for a custom engine build or for some performance upgrades, I would definitely recommend talking to Daniel over at Cuervo Racing. Again on YouTube, that's Mr. Cuervo Racing. You don't need to remove the fenders for this installation, but he does have a video where he does the whole installation with the fenders off. So if you find that more helpful, you might check out his AIS block off uh, installation video. He also has another video where he goes over in depth a little bit more about what the AIS read actually does, what Yamaha intended it to do for emission reduction purposes. If you want to check out either one of those videos, I'll put the links in the description below. That's our video for today. Thanks for watching everybody. I told you I was going to keep this one quick. I think it's time we do another giveaway. So how about a $50 gift card for the first person who can guess what the next mod that we're gonna put on this Raptor 700. If you guys remember in some of the previous videos, we did the front suspension with Fox shocks and all the arms. In another episode, we did Renthal handlebars. So leave me your best guess in the comments below, guys. What do you think the next thing we're gonna put on this Raptor 700 is gonna be? Take your best guess, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think we're gonna bolt onto this Raptor 700 next? First person to leave the correct comment below, it's a Rocky Mountain ATV $50 gift certificate. So that's our video for today. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time.